so we're still just uh, lining them up. The last of our British Championship competitors is coming on track right now. So we're uh, running with the time, but uh, Danny Weymer there. All right. So I would have done a, a pit walk, but uh, really, the 2012 Formula One British Drivers Championship. Gentlemen, start your engines. Here we go, the race of the night. You can sense uh, this is going to be a bit tasty. Let's hope uh, they do not disappoint. Fasten your seatbelts. We're ready to rock and roll. Gary Fox uh, got a problem with his seatbelts, I'm being told, so he's out of the race. And the instruction has gone down to the drivers. Two rolling laps, two rolling laps. Simon Bennion walked between the uh, cars. Two rolling laps. That's the instruction that's gone down there. Tom Harris. He's, uh, he's an established top name in the sport but he needs to win a big title. Adam Slater, another driver that will not start this race, parked upon the infield. Lots of fireworks anticipated. Finnegan may, may be in the best position on the track. Paul Hines might think otherwise. Throw a big sorter into the mix. Gilbank. He could do it. Gilbank could do it. John Lund, the master, sits back and will watch everything unfold in front of me. Certainly on pace tonight. Let's uh, give a shout for your favourite. What about Tom Harris? Junior Wayman. Paul Hines. And Mick Sorder. Over to the control of Mr. Starter, Tony Osborne, for the 2012 British Championship Final. Once they start getting amongst the traffic, that might be the problem. Scrimmage 
has gone. Michael Scriven spins out. That mark is now ahead of Finnekin. Track conditions beginning to bed in and some of these drivers set their car up for a particular part of the race. Finnekin still leading. Never been British champion, he's in second place and driving quite superbly is Murray Harrison. Here goes the first challenge on the back of Finnegan's car. My oh my. Let's move him out of the way then. Junior Wayman second. Murray Harrison, your new leader, Gilbank, up into third position. Gilbank's tangled, he's got out with James Morris. He's recovered very quickly. Danny Wayman retires out of the race. Skips across the front of 215. But it's going to be a dogfight soon between the former world and European champion, Murray Harrison, Junior Wayman. He must love it. He must love it because surely he's going to just sit there behind Murray. Nothing, no challenge from behind. Mick Sorda, a distant third. Murray Harrison travelling very quickly down into the turns. Higgins, oh my word, poor Hines almost rolls. Wave yellows, wave yellows. Poor Hines almost on his roof. And they're going to bunch up at the front. Murray Harrison. Murray Harrison, the leader, Mr. Starter. Second. Junior Wayman. Oh, it's tasty. We thought it might be. So, Murray Harrison. Somewhat uh, out of the spotlight nowadays, isn't he? Particularly with uh, the emergence of Ryan, but uh, he'll fancy his chances in this one, that's for sure. Great start uh, from the pilot of the 97 car, and uh, I don't think, particularly with a borrowed car, that uh, Junior Wem is any quicker than uh, Murray Harrison. Don't forget Nichols and Higgins, uh, two jokers in the pack for sure. The Gun Green. The Gun Green, and uh, we're back racing, that's for sure. Keep your eyes on Sorda and Finnegan. I think they're fighting for minor places, maybe third and fourth position. I don't think Harrison and Wayman are going to concede first or second or unless there's one almighty coming together but as we expected Harrison is as quick as if not quicker than Wayman that's for sure sort of third from Finnegan in fourth that's something to keep your eyes on bit of tactics there from Ryan Harrison maybe but it's getting interesting at the front Murray Harrison leading from Junior Wayman second. Junior Wayman is getting wound up now, isn't he? Neil Holcroft's got a super machine there, that's for sure. We're going very wide into the turns. 97, 505, who's closing? 150 from 55. Five to go next time. Five to go next time. And it is getting mighty close. Ben Herdman goes wide. He doesn't want to get involved in this one. Has Junior got something in the bag? We'll see, because we're into the countdown now. It's four to go this time around. Brian Harrison just circulating very, very slowly, trying to keep off the racing line. 
Junior seems to have lost a little bit of ground to Murray Harrison. There's three to go. Three to go and Sorda's closing. Sorda's certainly closing and so too is Finnicky. It's getting very tense but I think at the moment Murray Harrison's got enough in hand. Sorda's the threat, he's in third place. Two this time, two to go for the leaders. 97, 5 on 5, 150, 55. And back markers that might have a bearing in the outcome of this one because Murray Harrison's got to navigate some of the slow moving cars immediately ahead of him. Last that ball goes out. All or nothing now for Junior Wayman. He's gone wide, Murray Harrison's gone wide. Junior Wayman's going to get a Is he going to break late to the late? Right? It was always going to happen. Red flags, red lights. 2012 British champion, 55, Craig Finnicky. Goodness me. Pick the bones out of that one. Murray Harrison, maybe next year. Actually, instead of... Uh leaving the stadium if you stay and watch the presentations you've got a fair chance of getting out of the car park oh, third place for 2012 British Championship Junior Wayman how well about Junior there comes the goodies from John from our main sponsors Bill Bates the Goodyear tyre as well the tanks all bits and pieces oh all the Pleasures in the world and the uh, Laurel Leaves as well. He put up a fighting show, Mick Sauna! <laughs> Runner up then for the British, yes. <laughs> That's only if you win, Mick. <laughs> so Mick runs as the runner up then for the British Championship. Thanks, John. Ladies and gentlemen, the British Drivers' Champion for 2012 is... Craig Finnegan! Yes! <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. So, Craig gets the big trophy. Better than at Silverstone tomorrow, I'll tell you that. And the Goodyear bits and pieces as well. And thanks again to Goodyear, Harrison Supplies and Bill Bass. Or we'll grab a very, very quick word with Craig because we are running on the schedule of time. Right, we're running short of time. Craig, 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 congratulations, British champ. How do you feel? Fantastic now. Uh, just about the same look that Paul had last year in Techno World as well. Thank you very much to all the sponsors and Goodyear, Harrison Supplies, all the team. Frank for taking Murray out after giving me a big one. <laughs> hey, hey, see what it is. There's nothing for second, is there? I enjoyed every minute. I'd like to say oh, well, all right, then, if you don't want it. <laughs> I'd like to say a quick thank you to Neil Alcroft. We had problems with my engine today. All credit to him. Absolutely super. Big thank you, Neil. I owe you one proper. Thank you. And Mick, Mick, Mick sorted out here. That was the final, mate. That was the final. A rough, tough effort. And that's about the third time in the trot now Craig's got me last bend. I think when I do get behind him next time, I'm going to proper follow him in. Because I can't have this no more. I don't mind every now and then, but for a championship, not too bad. The next heat, going in. I've had enough. What do you reckon? Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Junior Wyman, Mick Slaughter, Craig Finnegan, the 2000.
2012 British Drivers' Champion. Well done, guys. We're going to bring him around for the lap of honour. Martin has confirmed the full results for you. And while you salute him and wave, good luck getting out of the car park. We'll see you next time right here. We'll say bye-bye and good night on behalf of the commentary stock car promotions, all the drivers, all the officials, and well done.